All right, now the fun part. We're going to sew our bundles onto our cap. And I did choose the ventilated cap to use um, for sewing the bundles today. And then this is my, um, my presser. Uh, that I use for my foot. It's kind of like driving. You know, the harder you press, the faster it go. And um, as you lift your foot, it slows down. And then this is like the little piece uh, of the bottom piece that goes on the sewing machine. Um, I usually just take that off because it's so bulky right there and it makes it hard for me to sew. And when I take it off, it gives me more room. So that works better for me, but you can sew with or without it. With or without it, sorry. Um, it's really not needed. And these are the bundles. And I'm just going to show you the bobbin that's at the bottom of the machine. I'm just gonna put that back and then this is the thread that I usually use um, I usually use like a, a nylon thread um, for sewing my wigs and uh, you're just gonna see me threading the machine here uh, I hate the way the angle is on the camera you really can't see what I'm doing at the top did not realize that to afterwards but um, we're gonna keep going And the brother machine is really easy. Um, I've had it a pretty good while now, but it's the Project Runway Limited Edition uh, brother machine. And it's really easy to work with. what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the tracks in half uh, well you know it's like a whole track so you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna cut it evenly like so and then you're gonna keep them together and you're gonna do what you call doubling the tracks on the sewing machine uh, so you just keep the tracks together and uh, you place them using a back stitch and then you're gonna go forward and with the zigzag stitch, and you'll see the machine going left to right, left to right, left to right, and that's a zigzag stitch. And it's just uh, mending those tracks together. And I usually do this, um, on, depending on how many bundles the client wants, I usually um, double that first bundle for sure. Either way, I'm gonna double the first bundle, unless it's a bob. Um, and if the client wants about four to five bundles on their wig, I usually double um, the first two bundles. Uh, but what I'm doing here is just, um, this is the first bundle and I'm just doubling it. And this is gonna be the bundle for the bottom of the wig. So using a zigzag stitch, I just go ahead and um, stitch that track, well those tracks together all the way to the end. And now 
we're going to take our ventilated cap and we're going to start sewing that double track that we just mended together onto um, the ventilated cap. And what I do is I always start with a uh, back stitch first. That's me pressing the button that's making it back stitch. And then I start to go forward. And that just locks that uh, the beginning of that track in place. And we're just sewing on the lines that we previously drew. And it's really easy sewing the wig. Uh, you're just basically following the lines, not pulling the cap too hard, and uh, also not letting the cap ball up. You just want to let the machine uh, guide the cap. And just follow the lines. If the lines are curving, you're going to curve. If the lines are kind of straight, you're going to straighten it. You're just following the lines completely. And this is the second part of the track. And um, I'm cutting each weft as I go. Um, but there is a method to where you don't have to cut the wefts. But um, I usually uh, just cut the wefts. But you can definitely um, make a wig without cutting the wefts. You can actually fold the tracks and um, sew a track, sew a wig on a sewing machine without cutting the tracks. up that track and then you're going to see me adjust the settings here because I'm getting ready to double the second bundle I decided to um, go ahead and double that second bundle so you're going to see me um, mending those tracks together like we did the first bundle and basically you take the whole uh, bundle and you fold it in half cut it and then keep those tracks together and use a zigzag stitch to stitch those tracks together on the sewing machine. And then um, you'll see my right hand, I'm kind of pinching those tracks uh, just to keep them in line, to keep them from um, opening too wide when they're going through the sewing machine. So that's what I was doing, just uh, pinching those together. And you can see it really well right here. And that really helps with feeding those tracks through the machine. And you'll see at the end that I did a back stitch and then I went ahead and proceeded forward. And there we are, our tracks are doubled. And we can start back sewing our wig. see that I changed those settings again you cannot forget to change your settings uh, so we went from the zigzag stitch from mending the tracks together back to the straight stitch um, and I use a straight stitch on the ventilated cap I forgot to mention earlier and on the mesh dome caps I usually use a zigzag stitch not as wide as the one that I use to stitch the tracks but I do use a zigzag stitch um, for the mesh dome caps and I believe it's the setting number four for that one and then um, the straight stitch that I use for the um, ventilated cap it's a double zero 
and you usually get that setting when you turn the machine off and turn it back on it's automatically set to that straight stitch that I use.
you'll see that we're all done and the only space we have left is where we should lay our closure so you're gonna see me put that on but you want to also make sure that you pull it past the cap you cannot forget that part it's really important um, do not place the closure completely on the cap you want to pull it at least an inch to a half a half an inch forward and then I'm gonna hand sew this closure down and then I'm gonna go back and stitch it on the sewing machine.
here we are we're gonna we've already hand stitched our closure so we're gonna go back and stitch it on the sewing machine and you can see the settings that I use here um, and I'm gonna of course start with a back stitch and then proceed forward and we're just gonna sew that bad baby down All right, as you can see, we're all done with our wig. And of course we use the ventilated cap. And you see the plastic here. Uh, we're gonna take that off and we're also gonna cut that little piece off that lays under the lace. Cause of course we don't need that part anymore. Then we're gonna proceed to make sure we get all that extra fabric off so you can the lace is exposed and you see the plastic here I usually just take my seam rippers and um, I remove the plastic but here in the video you're gonna see that I realized that I did not put the cap on backwards um, so I sewed the wig right side up usually I sew the wig on the wrong side of the cap so when it's time to take this plastic off it's much easier and it's it's less of a struggle uh, than you see here it's usually like these um, little threads that you cut with the seam rippers and um, it makes the plastic come off really easily but being that I did not sew the um, wig on the opposite side of the cap which would be the wrong side of the cap um, it's a little harder to take the um, plastic off not impossible just um, you have to work a little harder but you see I have it all off and um, the markings from the Chinese marker that can come off when you get ready to uh, shampoo your wig um, but it's all done and those are the plastics that I took off of the wig and she's good to go